Hello guys, welcome to Infinity Design. Uh, I am Engineer Mohan Khan, your instructor today, Certified SolidWorks Associate. Today our topic is Draft Analysis in SolidWorks. Now to move ahead, initially we will discuss what is basically draft. A draft is basically a feature that is added to our part which is going to be molded in a mold or in injection molding process it's it's been manufactured so the problem occurs when you make a mold and you inject plastic or any other material which fills the cavity then the problem occurs when you are going to inject the part out of the mold in order to overcome that problem we have to provide a draft angle a draft to the part so that it can easily come out of the mold after it's been completely cured. Let's say for example we have injection molding process and we, and we let's say uh, for example we got this molded injection molding. So when the mold is filled and the plastic here is cooled down so what will happen that it will be attached to all these surfaces right. In order to get it removed we will eject the part. During the ejection it, there might be a problem that these parts, these surfaces get attached and due to friction they may not come out. So when you give a draft angle it provides us, it, it assists, assists the part to move out from the mold. As you can see here in this example you can see this draft angle. This surface is tapered right and which helps the part to come out of the mold. Either it's injection molding or simple sand casting. So this is the this is the basic theory behind this draft and this draft angle will vary uh, upon the design and uh, now we will use we will use SOLIDWORKS draft, draft analysis to make sure that the draft is fully fine for the process. So let's move ahead and go to the SOLIDWORKS we will now open SOLIDWORKS and we already have a part which we, we will be using as an example. So this is the part. Let's say we want to make this part. We, might, we want to make the mold out of this part and we might be using this in, in injection molding. Okay. So let's say if we, if we cast it like this so all the surfaces they are straight. So there will be a possibility when we that it will get stuck while ejection. So there, there are many methods to apply draft but in SOLIDWORKS there are a direct method uh, which we will be using here which is called draft. So let's start. Uh, uh, when we have finalized the part dimensions we will click on the draft. Now what it requires? It, it requires the degrees of the draft. So this degree of draft will depend upon the size of the model or, or any other parameters right. So let's start with one degree and uh, to apply the draft on this part we will click on the surface okay reference surface and then we will click on the, the surfaces where we want the draft angle to be. So now we will click on these surfaces we want the draft to be on these surfaces. We have to click it one by one. Now we have, uh, as we have selected all the surfaces, faces, so it, it depends upon uh, the user's requirement, uh, what kind of, what surface you want the draft to apply. So let's start with a degree, one degree draft, and let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, we have applied the draft. Let let's verify. Here, yeah. we can see the slight inclinement of the surface, right, on the face here. Look, this is slightly in incline a one degree apply. Now let's apply the draft analysis. We go to uh, evaluate draft analysis and uh, yeah we we'll click on the part okay and uh, 
now see that we 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 have a negative draft here okay and uh, this is a positive draft okay this is at minus 1 degree angle okay we go again to the draft make sure that you select the right face yeah, yeah, this is the face okay so as you analyze this we can see that there are three regions this is a positive yeah this is positive this green and it should be the bigger side the bigger side okay and this one is negative angle is declining at this point so these yellow surfaces there it means the analysis tell us that it requires a more draft angle okay it requires a draft angle so we let we will go and apply 3 degrees we'll again go to evaluate okay and we will select the right surface and now you can see that all of the portion is now green and this is a 3 three degree draft the uh, draft angle so you can analyze your geometry like this and uh, you can give it any angle you want i hope you like the tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe to infinity design and if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please share this video with many people so that they can get benefits peace out